if you have the time to do it because um it's a lot more common than people think and like a lot of a lot of like like for me i got diagnosed as an adult so my whole life you know i lived with this thing and like i always thought i was just like stupid or i was lazy or i was just i always thought i was just like not as good as everybody else um but it turns out i ha i have a developmental <laughs> disorder right yeah we never even touched each other Who's gonna love you when your bankroll runs out? Jules Ugai is asking if I have a girlfriend. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do I have a girlfriend? Playing music, then I make a list of the things that need to be done. At the end of the task, I reward myself. It works for me every time. Yeah, you know what? Music really helps me too. But it ha for me, it has to be music that I don't normally listen to. Like it has to be a random playlist on Spotify. If it's uh, like, for example, if it's Mariah Carey, if I play Mariah Carey, I cannot focus because I'm singing along to every riff. I'm like, I'm paying attention to like everything. Because if it's like a singer that I really enjoy, I can't. It doesn't help me focus. Still just a frail shook one. <laughs> the the double duke says, I also thought I was just <laughs> I also thought I was just stupid and lazy growing up. So I consulted a neurologist and he said that I'm right. I am stupid and lazy. <laughs> oh that's that's fried. Ikaw na lang girlfriend ko, Ange. You can be my beard. Is that what they call it? You can, like, fake... The fake girlfriend for gay guys. Ooh, gonna be there the jokes on you. You know what? Uh, D-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S. I don't know how to say your name. You also have ADHD. I don't know if I would have wanted... I, I don't know if I want to have been diagnosed as a kid. Because I don't know if, I don't know if I would be doing what I'm doing now if I got treated for ADHD as a kid. Because what my neurologist said to me is that um, a lot of, pe a lot of um, people who have ADHD who get diagnosed as adults, they're doing rel they're relatively okay because they've found a niche or they've found, um, they found a profession that... Um, accommodates the symptoms of their ADHD. So like they found things that they excel in that their ADHD doesn't really like hinder their performance in. Like for me, it's uh, music, right? You know? And I feel like in some ways music is aided. My creativity is aided by my ADHD because my ADHD makes my brain want to like, you know, like go like surf like 50 different channels at the same time, you know? So I don't know if I would be doing music if I got diagnosed, say like nine years old, if I got treated for it and like, you know, through treatment, I excelled in like, you know, school, I excelled, you know, not that I was doing bad, but if I excelled in school in like the traditional, like, you know, corporate, whatever, maybe I wouldn't be doing music. Do you know what I mean? I'd give my Just one more night of living. He's an indie. I, I love Arthur Neri. I've only met Arthur once, and when I met him, I didn't know who he was. But um, he's, he's so good. His voice is so insane. I can't I can't sing a song. So his songs. His voice is so special. Like he, his falsetto. There's, there's not a lot of people that have, that have that. 
His falsetto is so clean. That can be no sadder Opportunity Any tips on how to come out Especially to those who are having a hard time doing it I can't um, A lot of people have been asking me that question In my DMs Um I can't really give advice on that because my my situation is a little bit different. Um, yes, I like I came out to the world, right, or to the you know everybody else, but like in my personal circles, like my family, my you know my friends, in my social circles, even like everybody on Idol, like everybody I've ever worked with knows that I'm gay, and I've never been like. Um, secretive about it because I, I don't know I just I introduce myself as that like or like I just allow people to assume that that's what I am so it's a little bit different for me but I always tell people like in my in my DMs that it's like whether or not you're in the closet um it's like what what is it what's important is that you're taking care of like your self-identity and like how you see yourself do you know what I mean like it doesn't, like, coming out and being validated um, by other people, having your identity validated by other people, isn't going to matter if you feel like shit about yourself on the in inside, you know what I mean? If you still have any shame about, like, the way that you are, it doesn't matter if you come out and people, you know, welcome you. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, you'll still feel like shit, like, you know, so. Does that make sense? Um... So I think that's the most important thing is like, like, you know, <laughs> I'm not making any sense. <laughs> Go living in the memory of our soul. My nose is so fat now. That's right, Jim Wall. Stream weed. Weed? You guys aren't even listening to weed, okay? Chevy Cruz, like, months after it, it got released, it's still getting more streams a day than weed. So, like, maybe I shouldn't make songs like weed. Maybe you guys aren't into that. I should make more up-tempo or, like, mid-tempo um, songs. What do you guys think? I'm listening to you, okay? Your opinion matters to me. Yeah. But also, like weed is weed is that kind of song that like, it's like, I'm I'm proud of weed, but it's like it's that kind of song that it's not the kind of song that you'd want to listen to like casually. You know, like you have to be like in the 